Hello everyone, this is Sahid, and I'm super glad to be back on the Visa Pathfinders channel. If you're new here, we're glad to have you as we mainly discuss how you can migrate to the world main economies, including the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the European Union, Asia, among other countries, and that is exactly what we do, right? Now kindly like and share our videos, hit the subscribe button, and don't, don't forget to turn on the notifications so you can have all our new videos as they've been released. Today we shall be talking about the Timmins Economic Development Cooperation and that is talking about the, about the community of Timmins. So Timmins is a community located in northeastern Ontario and um, we're looking at the Timmins Regional Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot, which is the RNI. And the current Timmins Pilot is spearheaded by the Timmins economic development cooperation and numerous community partners so an eligible requirement and how to apply are things that are really outlined on this website and that is exactly why we're looking at it so today because the immigration refugees and citizenship canada which is referred to as the ircc has, has looked into the extension of the timeline for communities to recommend rural northern immigration pilot rnip candidates until 31st of July 2024. So this community of teamings uh, also scheduling. So they're scheduling their new intake period for February, March, April, May, and June 2024. So the details and changes to the community criteria will be posted on the website as they've been updated. Uh, generally, what you need to do at this point in time, information for applicants. So you need to refer to, uh, to the guide that is in this link and before submitting your application the guide will help you to answer all the questions that you have regarding the, regarding the eligibility and give, it gives you also the step-by-step -step, um, instruction on how to complete an application step two which is where you find a job so applicants are expected to secure a full-time permanent employment in the region in one of the eligible sectors or occupations listed below and those jobs are across the entire Timmins region. So uh, you can visit jobintimmins.com or jobinfarnorteast.com or the Canada's Job Bank to find positions that meet your skills, experience, education, and education in the region. So all you need to do is to provide your RNIP offer of employment and um, get it signed by your employer and proceed to the next steps. However, these are the jobs that they're really looking at in terms of the priority in Timmins region. 25 points for the category A, which is um, healthcare professions ranging from registered nurses, psychiatric nurses, uh, clinical laboratory medicine, surgery, family physicians, and nursing, uh, nurse aides, uh, oddly, patient service associates home support workers, housekeepers, and related occupations. So moving away from that, you also have those that are in social work and education, secondary, elementary, and kindergarten school uh, teachers. So social workers, early childhood educators, and assistants. Also, we got quite a number of trades that are also included, weathers, and transport truck and transit drivers, heavy equipment operators and so on. So, so we've got some business administration, including auditors, accountants, and accounting technicians, as well as bookkeepers included in that list. And uh, we got a category, uh, we got a category B, which are 15 points uh, off on offer. And for those, you got all the skills majorly across maintenance, livestock, harvesting, and machine operators, all in that category. So. You can look out for other positions, also information technology, IT, and science. Majorly, we're talking about all these STEM occupations here, you know. So those are the jobs that you will be looking to apply to, to make sure that you secure. Uh, those are the jobs you'll be looking to apply to, to make sure that you secure one of those permanent full-time roles there. And moving on from that, you would have to go to the community criteria and, you know, once you've been deemed eligible based on steps one and two. The TEDC will prioritize applicants who are most likely to settle and reside in the Timmins region. So you can go on this page to see all the requirements of what you need to do in terms of the community criteria score sheet. 
and also the workplace match uh, mentoring uh, guidelines. So your step four would be for you to apply. So completed applications must be submitted in one single mail, and that is to the email address that is written right here. So you would have to, um, applications will not be considered if they're- So generally you need to just uh, meet the federal eligibility requirements as well as the community criteria. So. That is all they're looking at, and there are quite a number of other forms that you need to complete, and that includes the RNIP offer of employment form, RNIP schedule one applicant form, and so on. So that would be completed, and you would have to do that in your application. So looking at the applicant's pool and draw system, so Timmy's regional RNIP ranks candidate in the pool using the point-based system. So you can check out all those details in there. Um, on this page and you would see, click here for the general draw statistics for each month and you would see all the details right there. And finally, the step six, and as soon as you get everything over the line or submit your applications, it's reviewed by the regional uh, committee. So it, and it's reviewed by the team in charge, then you would be looking to settle in the Northeastern City. So once you've received your permanent residency, remember as soon as your application is done, so you'll be able to move on to permanent residency application, get it all done. So as soon as you get your permanent residence approved uh, from the IRCC, you will be asked to communicate with the TEDC to share details and timelines about your relocation to the region. And once you uh, once you arrive in the area, Local personnel will arrange to welcome you and assist you with community integration activities. So and that brings us to the end of um, the review of today's uh, community, which is the Timmins Regional Rural Northern Immigration Pilot, the RNIP. And this is a program that you should be looking to apply to as soon as you can, because everything will be closing within uh, the next uh, couple of months. And that is specifically July, July 2024, and that is just under five months. So you've got all the time in the world right now to get on board and get everything done as soon as you can. And that brings us to the end. Don't forget um, to like and share our videos, so hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you can have all our new videos as you've been released. And thank you very much for being there always. And I'll catch you some other time. Thank you and bye-bye.